In this video, we'll look at the equation for KBr plus H2O. That's potassium bromide plus water. K, potassium, that's a metal, and bromine is a nonmetal. So we have a metal and a nonmetal bonded together. That's an ionic compound. So we need to think about ions. We go to the periodic table, and in group one, we have potassium, which has a plus one charge. So put a plus up here. And then bromine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A, that has a negative one charge. So we'll put a minus up here. We take solid potassium bromide, and then we put it in liquid water, and it dissolves. It dissociates into its ions. So we're left with K plus plus Br minus, the potassium cation and the bromide anion. Because these ions, they're dissolved in water, we can write AQ after each one, which stands for aqueous, dissolved in water. Because of that, we don't need to write H2O on this side of the equation. The AQ shows that these are dissolved in water. And that's the equation for potassium bromide. And that's the equation for potassium bromide plus H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.